Gordon was feeling grumpy. This was making James cross. Why are you complaining all the time? Because I'm a big blue engine and I shall complain what I, when I want to. You're just a small red engine with ideas above your station. I can't see anything, said Percy. Any what? Ideas above the station. Your sky's empty. The sky's empty. Like your smoke box, Percy, laughed James. Someday I'm going to show you. So what? asked Percy. Not to speak to any little green engines for a start, huffed Gordon, and he puffed away. Later, Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. Gordon, you're to make one stop to today with an empty express to test out our new station. You can make time afterwards. Why can't Henry do it? He likes idling in stations. You will do as you are told. And so Gordon did. On the way to the big station, Gordon was feeling unhappy, and he grew sick, too. I just cannot get up to speed, he moaned. It's time for your visit to the works, said the fireman. Your pipes are clogged. At last they approached a big station. At last they approached a new station. Gordon arrived faintly, but soon his mood changed. In front of him was a blank wall and huge buffers. What a boring view! An important engine like me should have a panoramic view, where I can see people and people can see me. And he wished angrily. Gordon was happy when it was time to go home. When it was time to leave. Now you can enjoy your run as long as these pipes will let you, said, it, said Gordon's driver. Come on, come on, huffed Gordon. I could go faster than this. Sick me never. Then Gordon began to feel a little feeble. And quite suddenly, he stopped. What happened?
Gordon's driver inspected him. Sorry. Gordon Fireman inspected him. Something's broken inside you, Gordon, said his driver. Now you really do have to go to the works. Gordon was... Oh. Then James arrived to collect his coaches. Well, 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 so, said Jane. Sure to know everything. You got two popped up in your s smoke box and it served you right, said James. When Gordon was repaired, he he was boasting. I am the finest engine on the island of Sodor, he said. Probably the fastest in the world. Come come on, Gordon, said the cotton hat. We're going to the official opening of the grand st of the Come on, Gordon, said it. Come on, Gordon, said the cotton hat. We're going to the official opening of the new station. Then there was trouble. As they approached the new station, neither the driver or fireman could apply his brakes. Something had jammed. The driver reduced steam, but Gordon was still going too fast. Help me, please. <sighs> well, Gordon, said Sir Topham Hat, I know you wanted a panoramic view, but this is not the way to achieve it. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. When Gordon was repaired again, he took 
the top of the hat to the new station for its second official opening. But this time, Gordon arrived safely. Everyone clapped and cheered as he, he pulled in. Sir Tottenham Hatt spoke to Gordon. Your panoramic view is here to stay, he said. I'm sure you will always see through it from the safety of your own rails. Gordon hardly agreed.